For me, there's three common elements. If you're accessing data in a cloud environment, ensure to use multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication. If also your data is stored in the cloud and it's sensitive, make sure it's being encrypted. So in the event that environment is compromised and the data is stolen, the data is rendered useless and we call that a secure breach. And that could be anywhere in your business. If, if the data is protected and encrypted and it is breached and they copy that data, providing it's encrypted, we call that a secure breach. And that's what you want. You want a secure breach. You don't want an unsecure breach. And secondly, if you're encrypting the data, you will generate a key. That's a master key to unlock the encryption. You need to store that separate from the data that's being protected. The biggest downfall we see, and the easiest route for or way in for bad guys, is where there's a password control. Phishing attacks, spear attacks. What happens is, the user's tricked into giving away their username or password. That's the majority of the way that all the, the, a lot of the attacks occur. A lot of the time, if, if an organization has been compromised, it will be unknown. They won't, won't be aware of it until you know, a reputational issue occurs and it hits the press. Um, so, you know, if your password is locked out and you try logging in and it's not accepted, that could be a sign. Um, but the problem nowadays is a lot of these attacks are invisible. And for me, I just want to get businesses and organisations back to the fundamental basics of information security. It's all about data. Where is the data and how is the data being protected? But they need to focus on the level of confidentiality, the integrity of the data, and can they provide accountability and auditability around data? And for me, it's the fundamental basics of information security. And if we were doing the basics properly, we could radically reduce the number of attacks and breaches we see today. For any organization, there is a one-size-fits-all best practice. So who's accessing the data and where are they accessing it from? Eradicate static passwords and replace them with a one-time password. Any data, sensitive data, encrypt it. And if you're encrypting the sensitive data, make sure you're storing the, the key to unlock the encryption in a safe, secure place.